You've probably flown on a boring standard airplane before, but the airplanes in this video look like science fiction. They seemingly should not be able to fly, but they can. From a bizarre airplane with a third turbine, to an airplane which was made to carry other airplanes. Airbus Beluga You've likely heard of the company Airbus before. They make many of the airplanes normal airlines use. They're also famous for building one of the largest double-decker passenger airplanes. This was the 380-seat A350. But what most people don't know is that's not their biggest plane. Their biggest plane is the Airbus A3100 600ST. This is better known as the Airbus Beluga. The purpose of the plane is to transport other planes and plane parts around Europe. It looks ridiculous and that it should not be able to fly. Because of the shape, it looks like the aerodynamics simply would not work, but they do. It's been such a success, Airbus has been using the Beluga for 20 years. MD-160 The MD-160 is a very unique type of plane known as an Encrano plan. It's said to be a hybrid of a plane and a warship. The plane uses ground effects to lift off up into the sky. It has eight engines mounted at the front, and at the back are missile launchers. These can take out enemy warships and planes as well. It was first used by the Russian Navy, and it gained the nickname the Caspian Sea Monster. Super Guppy Everyone knows that NASA makes rockets, but did you know NASA also have their own plane? This is known as the B-377SG-SGT, but it's better known as the Super Guppy. When many people see this for the first time, they assume it's photoshopped, but it's not. The first Super Guppy was made all the way back in 1960, but since then, new models have been built and they're still used by NASA today. They're used to carry rocket parts all over the country. The Super Guppy is very similar to a Boeing military transport plane, but it's got far more powerful engines on it to carry more heavy things. The fuselage is so massive because it has to carry rockets. Because of its aerodynamics, it looks like this plane should not be able to fly, but it does, and the current NASA Super Guppy is stationed at El Paso International Airport in Texas. Vought V173 Many people online have nicknamed this the Pancake Plane. That's because it's got a flat, disc-shaped body. It's also got very tiny wings, and it's powered by two very small propellers. It was built during the Second World War, and this was when people were designing and flying all kinds of bizarre things. There was much less oversight and planning because there was a war. Anything engineers dreamed up and made, they would fly. The V-173 has a disc-shaped body, and from above, it kind of looks like a UFO. Experts have said this may be why there was a spike in UFO sightings in the 1940s. ELM-2075 the ELM-2075 is a bizarre looking plane. It's known as an airborne early warning and control plane. This means it can sense radar activity. It was developed by the Israeli army. But what makes it stand out is its gigantic nose. The reason for the shape of the plane's nose is because it's using this instead of a rotodome. Inside the plane's nose is a radar. This can detect and jam frequencies. The interior of the plane's nose looks like this, but there are also radar panels on either side of the fuselage, and there's also radar panels under the plane's tail. This allows the plane to detect and jam frequencies 360 degrees. Antonov AN-225 it's safe to say we've seen some pretty gigantic planes on this list. But what is the biggest plane in the world? Well, that would be the Ukrainian Antonov AN-225. This plane is used to haul cargo, but it also holds 200 world records. It holds the record for the world's largest plane, and also the heaviest total cargo on a plane, and even the heaviest single piece of cargo ever carried on a plane. The plane looks like it defies gravity. It's so big and heavy it does not look like it should be able to fly, but it does. The plane is now mainly used for transporting rockets and also other planes. The landing gear is so big it has 14 wheels on either side. It also has six massive turbines which look ridiculous. V-22 Osprey 
Is it a plane? Is it a helicopter? Is it a warship in the sky? These are questions many people ask when they see the Boeing V-22 Osprey in the sky. Believe it or not, this is not a helicopter. It's known as a VTOL, which is technically a plane. It was made for the US military by Bell and Boeing, but it's gone on to be quite a controversial plane. The plane flies with two gigantic propellers facing forward. But the controversy lies in the cost. The US has spent nearly 36 billion on these. But many military officials say they do the same thing that helicopters do, but for way more money. Many have claimed that the military industrial complex and the government were being corrupt here, and they could have simply just made helicopters instead of these very expensive and bizarre planes. Bereave BE-200 this Russian vehicle is an amphibious aircraft. This means, as well as in the skies, it can also operate on water. It's used for search and rescue if someone gets lost at sea. If there's ever a fire, this plane can scoop up water from the sea. It can then dump this water on large fires, putting it out. Similar planes were used in California recently during their wildfires. Northrop Grumman B-2 This is one of the most iconic planes in the world. But when you really think about it, it's quite strange. Because of its shape, it does not seem like it should be able to fly. It's totally flat and has no turbines. It also has no tail, fuselage, or rudder. Computers help the pilots stay in flight. And the technology to make this plane took decades to research and build. Stipaka Prony This is one plane which looks like it would crash as soon as it takes off. But this very stocky Italian plane actually did fly. It was used by the Italian military in the 1930s. The fuselage of this plane was hollow. Some called the plane a barrel with wheels because that's pretty much what it was. CGTFF Most of the time airplanes have two turbines. Some of the larger ones do have more, but there's always an equal number. That's why many are baffled when they see this plane with three turbines. The plane you're seeing is actually a Boeing 747, but it's a special one which has been made to test a new turbofan engine. This is the PW-1200G. They decided the best way to test it was to put it onto a specially designed wing. But why is it located here, right next to the pilot? Well, this is to allow for proper airflow around the aircraft's nose. And it also counterbalances the airplane's weight. This is so it doesn't fall out of the sky and crash into a big explosion when it takes off. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment below which was the most unusual plane on this list. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. There are some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.